Hi, I'm Elise and welcome to Which Way. Today's review, The Demon Who Hunts Demons, Hellboy. I love how Hellboy pulls from so many different supernatural beings and folklore. The first minute alone crams in many references. Released in 2019 and directed by Neil Marshall, this supernatural action adventure stars David Harbour as Hellboy, who is no stranger to Stranger Things, cause you know, Stranger Things. Ian McShane, who's amazing, as Hellboy's adopted father, Professor Broom, Sasha Lane as psychic Alice Monaghan, and Daniel Day Kin as Major Ben Damio. Mila Jovovich portrays Vivian Nimue, the powerful witch who is back for vengeance. The plot follows Hellboy, who, along with the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense, or the BPRD, hunts down all kinds of supernatural creatures who pose a threat to humankind. This time, it is the witch Vivian Nimue, who has been restored to power and is keen to destroy humankind and let those who hide in the shadows come out into the light. The only one who can help is Hellboy. But who will he choose to help? Humankind or Nimue? This film is based off the Hellboy comics illustrated and written by Mike Mignola. Notably the story arcs from Darkness Calls and Wild Hunt with a little bit of Seed of Destruction and Hellboy in Mexico thrown in, all of which have been pieced together to form the plot. Originally planned to be a sequel to the first Hellboy films, this turned into a reboot after losing the director Guillermo del Toro and Ron Perlman, the original Hellboy. David Harbour stepped up to take his place and did just as well in my opinion. This film also has a wicked soundtrack, speaking of wicked. <laughs> Hellboy himself is the son of a witch, Sarah Bethine Hughes, who one Walpurgis Night rode to a sabbat on the back of a black goat. Walpurgis Night is held the 30th of April and in German folklore it was said witches would congregate at a great sabbat on the highest peak of the Haas mountain range, the Brocken. Here witches were thought to pay tribute to the devil and would fly to this place on the back of a goat, a broom or even on the back of people. There are some psychics in the film, the blind seer Elizabeth Hutton using her crystal ball and Alice Monaghan can channel the dead, regurgitating their ectoplasmic forms. Another great seer, Merlin, portrayed by Brian Gleeson, who is following in his father's footsteps. Brendan Gleeson portrayed Mad-Eye Moody in the Harry Potter films. But the most powerful witch around, Vivian Nimue, who was betrayed by her sister witches, namely that of Gnida. Portrayed by Penelope Mitchell, who has played Witch before, starring as Liv Parker in The Vampire Diaries. Gnida, Merlin and Nimue are all characters from Arthurian legend. Gnida was Merlin's sister and a powerful seer in her own right, though no connection is made in the film. Nimue learned all of her powers from Merlin, and after finding out all his secrets, she entombed him alive, though that power without his guidance drove her mad. Though in the film, the only connection made is when Merlin sides with Arthur during the betrayal. Nimue is cut up into pieces, all of which are spirited away, only to be found again and literally stitched back together by leprous hags. Sounds sanitary. The three blinded hags are reminiscent of the Grae, or the Fates, though devoid of their shared eye. Nimue is lying in a pentagram, an ancient symbol for protection though associated with witchcraft through its adoption by Wicca and other witchcraft practices as a symbol for either their religion or their practice. All night, faith, mysteries. All right. <gasps> part of an incantation used by the witch Medea in Ovid's Metamorphosis as a plea to Hecate to restore the youth to another. Some believe Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft among other things. Nimue still needs to restore her power at the place that she was betrayed, Pendle Hill, itself associated with one of the most well-documented witch trials, the Trials of the Pendle Witches in 1612. The proceedings were documented and published by Thomas Potts in his The Wonderful Discovery of Witches in the County of Lancashire. Twelve people were accused of witchcraft in the area surrounding Pendle Hill, ten of which were found guilty and executed. 
These witches apparently rise from the grave to assist Nimue with restoring her to power. One of these powers is apparently plague. Historically, witches were often accused as the source of plague in many towns, used as scapegoats for people's fear and misunderstanding. Nimue's plague doesn't seem that successful though, obliterating her victims before the plague can spread. Another witch who wants to help Nimue out? Baba Yaga, my favourite folklore witch. From Scandinavian folk tales such as Vasilisa the Beautiful, Baba Yaga flies through the air in a mortar and pestle, whisking away children to take back and devour in her hut, which stands on giant chicken legs, of course. Why not? This Baba Yaga is all of those things, utterly terrifying with her appearance and skittering movements and choice of ingredients in her cooking. Is it a child? It's just a human child. She also appears in the post credit scene, asking an unknown somebody to bring her Hellboy's eye. Can you do that? I can. And if I do... This is most likely Koshkai the Deathless, hinting at a continuation of the story arc from the comics. However, this is unlikely as the film bombed in cinemas. I think people just loved the original a little too much. I'll give this film marks for lore and because of the historical reference of Pendle Hill, history. There is no specific hint at how the witches get their powers, so it's either innate or assumed because they make pacts with the devil and that Alice Monaghan herself was taken by the Fae, their powers must be imbued. I will eventually be reviewing the Hellboy comics if you want to get ahead and read them yourself to find out Hellboy's full story and the many other witches that are included, find them in the links below. If you want to be notified of when this upload goes up, please make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date on The Witch Way. Thanks for watching.